Alright guys, so here we are in Thief Deadly Shadows, a game that came out quite a while ago, and I've been meaning to do a video on this, um, specifically to get Reshade running, but also to get RTGI, MXAO, all that fun stuff, so ray tracing, ambient occlusion, as well as just getting the depth buffer access running normally. Now, there are a couple of things that you need to do in order for this to work so that it looks exactly like it looks um, here. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick that everything is working. You can ignore the master effect stuff. This is from a legacy build of the reshade installation that I had on here. But the most important part is that you want to be able to see something like this. So now, as you can see, when you go in here, you can A, see the normals just fine. And you can also see the depth channel with everything that's close to you being black and everything far away from you being a lighter color, uh, usually white or gray. And then also what you may notice is that there's no flickering going on anymore, which was previously the case. So I'd be kind of moving my kind of screen up and down and then there'd be a bunch of ghosting going on and a bunch of really random kind of glitching happening within the screen which is no longer the case right now. So that just kind of shows you that the normals are working just fine but of course the real test here is the lighting channel which you can see in the RDGI panels and obviously now you can see that this has been set up to work and the lighting channel looks just fine as opposed to being a complete blank um, kind of gray slate. Now the way that you get this working is there's a couple of steps. Now one part that I did is under the edit global preprocessor definitions I added the basically reshade depth um, linearization scale. Uh, so that was added at 2000 uh, originally. When I got it running I set it to 1000 as per another user's recommendations. Now I don't know how far this actually affects things but I've set it to 2000 and it seems to work just fine, but it also works on 1000 as well. The other part that I added is the reshade depth multiplier, which I set to 2.0. For one reason or another, this particular game engine uh, doesn't seem to play nicely with the other settings in here. A lot of times what you'll need to do is, you know, check to see if the uh, depth is reversed or you know you got to check that it's logarithmic so you know sometimes you may need to check those settings but not in this case in this case these are the settings that i ended up using but that's not really the end of your troubles to actually fix the stutter that happens in the game or the kind of flickering that goes on what you actually need to do is go back to the base folder of the game once you've found the base folder what you're going to do next is you're going to go into system and you're actually going to look for the default.ini file. You're going to open that with whatever your favorite browser is. You're going to do a control F and you're going to search for the VPS keyword in here. Now it's really important that you set the static and the dynamic VPS scale to 100. I'm not 100% sure what the terminology of the VPS stands for specifically. But these are the values that you have to set, as I found out when I was doing some research on DSX Invisible War. And once you're done setting these values, what you're going to need to do is go back into this file again, right click it, go to properties, and you're going to toggle the read only flag so that the engine is not dynamically making changes to the any file. Again, if you need to make any changes in the tweaker, for example, for the game, you're going to want to uncheck this, um, do whatever tweaking you need to do, and then go back and make sure that you've had that checked. That way you will get the correct values of everything happening over here. So that's my really quick tutorial guys on how to get this running. Hopefully it helps your game out as well and you'll be able to get your kind of gameplay up to a higher par and higher level. I believe this should also work on for example other Unreal Engine games, specifically Unreal 2 Engine games. So anything from uh, the likes of you know Unreal 2004, Unreal 2 The Awakening, um, things of that nature should be able to be impacted by the same kind of tweak and potentially get it to work for you. So there you go folks, uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content if you ended up enjoying it. Take care, until next time.